The startup therapist is in the house. He joins us now to talk about how to do background checks for companies, especially startups. Jeff Hyman here. And it is a difficult situation when you're starting up a company to hire the right people. It's everything. It's everything. So what's the number one step? Well, interviews are notoriously not predictive of success. So you can't just rely on the interview. You've got to do background checks, reference checks. And so the first thing that I tell people is do it before you extend an offer. Would you believe 80% of people extend offers and then do the background I would not check. believe that. And of course you don't want it's to hear anything late. bad at that point. It's too late because you can't withdraw an offer very easily. So do it before. Second thing is make sure you do backdoor references. What is that? Well, so backdoor references are very easy with LinkedIn. You're looking for people that you know that also know the candidate or could put you in touch with someone who knows the candidate. That so, personal contact. Right, because that person is essentially, because you know them and trust them, they are putting their name on that candidate. And so that reference is much more valid than a stranger. You want to talk to their direct managers. If they can't produce their direct managers for the past few years, maybe excluding their current manager, Mm -hmm. if it's confidential, then something's wrong, right? And finally, you want to be looking for rave reviews. Anything less than a rave review is not a very good reference because when you have a rock star candidate Mm -hmm. and that reference really says you'd be making a huge mistake not to hire that person. There should be no hesitation. That's what you're looking for. Anything other than that I I throw out as a reference. I'm going to remember that when I give references too. Just you have to go full on if you really believe in that person. Absolutely. And and one last thing is to describe the job to the reference. How can they give a reference if they don't understand what's going to be? This is what the individual will be doing. What is the charter of the role, the scope of the role? What are they going to be asked to do every day? And then with that context, if they say, that's a rock star, that's your killer, hire them, you have your answer. If it's, well, I'm not so sure, they could do parts of it. That's wishy-washy. Here's a big controversial topic that comes up. Sometimes a woman happens to be expecting when she's interviewing. So how do you handle that? Because you want the job. You don't want to be held back or penalized because of it. Sure. And the person interviewing you has no right to ask. Correct. So it is a difficult situation. It's happened to me personally. So as an interviewer, you're certainly not bringing up that. I don't care if this particular individual is nine months pregnant. I don't breathe a word about it. And legally, that's your best path. However, for the candidate, I've always felt like if this person is, this interviewer is going to become your manager, Mm -hmm. your boss, building trust early is so important. And it's so easy to break that trust. So having an honest, open discussion and uh, assuming things are going well and disclose that news. And, And if you find that that hiring manager is not happy for you or it's really a huge inconvenience, then you probably are not going to want to work for that person. Probably not a great fit. Exactly. Does the same go if you are interviewing for a job and you have a major vacation plan. Yes. So frequently, uh, people will use that time as as a time to recharge. So they get the offer, they sign in, they say, oh, by the way. I can't start for another month. I can't, right. (laughs) Managers get very frustrated by that. Again, they they still would have made the offer. They know that you're the right person for the job, but you've set expectations. They're so excited that you've solved my problem. I'm going to hire you. And now you can't start for a month. So disclose the news and say, by the way, if I'm if I receive an offer, let's agree on a start date. Good tips. Thank you. Great to see you.